In the news from St. Lucia, Prime Minister and Finance Minister Dr. Kenny Anthony delivered his much-anticipated New Year's address to the nation on Monday evening. An optimistic Dr. Kenny Anthony assured St. Lucians that the economy remains vibrant with increased prospects for growth. He explained that the economy performed relatively well during 2015. Dr. Anthony notes that the renewed confidence in the economy was sparked by a boom in the construction sector, also supported by the tourism sector. Most economic sectors showed signs of recovery within the first nine months of 2015 as the construction sector gained momentum amid renewed confidence in the economy. This was supported by continued buoyancy in tourism, agriculture and other services. Construction activity was led by the private sector as work commenced on the construction of the Royalton Hotel, the former Smugglers Resort, and continued on a number of projects including Tide Sugar Beach in Soufre, Harbour Club Hotel, the Courts Megastore and the Diana Commercial Centre. This increased level of activity was reflected in a 13.5% increase in the importation of construction materials over the period from January to September 2015. The tourism sector continued to accomplish record performances with a 6.4% increase in total arrivals for the January to November period, an increase of 10.1 and 2.6% in cruise and stay over arrivals respectively over the period, contributed to higher visitor expenditure, which stood at an estimated $414.5 million in the first half. Meanwhile, there was a 6.3% increase in the manufacturing sector. However, there were mixed fortunes for the agriculture sector. Higher levels of domestic and export demand were reflected in a 6.3% increase in manufacturing production. The output of food and food products increased by 21.6%. Corrugated paper and paper board by 12.5% wood and wood products by 11.6% and furnishings by 16.1%. From all vantage points, these increases are welcome and encouraging. The agricultural sector experienced mixed fortunes during the review period. While there were declines in banana exports and livestock production overall, increases were recorded in pork production and vegetable production. Purchases by supermarkets and hotels increased by an estimated 12% to 6,648 tons, reflecting in some measure the success of the CFL Farmer Certification Program, coupled with increased demand from the tourism sector. And the Prime Minister is also upbeat about the prospects of the country's newly developed Citizenship by Investment Program, CIP. St. Lucia is the latest Caribbean island to buy into the concept. St. Lucia's have been divided on the matter. However, Dr. Anthony conveyed to citizens that the government has carefully developed legislation to protect the integrity of the program. I offer those who have anxieties a comfort that we have designed the most transparent, robust, and structured program to ensure that issues of credibility and integrity are well protected. Since commencing on January 1st, we have received tremendous interest from potential applicants wishing to become new citizens of St. Lucia. Whilst we have spent the last four years stabilizing and restoring our economic foundation, the Citizenship by Investment Program will provide impetus to our recovering economy to take off in the coming months. Over the next few weeks, announcements will be made of a number of resorts which will be constructed in St. Lucia. These resorts will create much needed jobs in the construction sector and more jobs in the hospitality sector, revive our real estate sector and restore a high level of growth to our economy, last enjoyed in 2006 when the Labour Party left office. I am excited by the progress in the Citizenship by Investment Program and its prospects for the future. I ask you to have the faith and confidence that we can deliver the best managed and most respected program in our region and indeed the world.